reviewing this good good afternoon to you uh it's november 3rd just come out earlier today from benny johnson on x make sure you go subscribe to his stuff follow him give him a subscription wherever you can help it helps us all out in this community of growing independent journalists so today i bring you the election fraud in Connecticut runs parallel to the election fraud that occurred in 2020. I'll give you some context here. There's pretty breaking news about Connecticut uh, within the last, I think, yesterday. Come out last night, really. Video evidence come out of a lady stuffing ballots. We'll watch that at the end. We'll watch that video at the end. I want to get through 2020. Fraud that occurred in 2020. Unlimited election ballots, unaccountable drop boxes, zero signature verification. This is the recipe for how Democrats pull off the election heist. Yet they're trying to put Donald Trump in jail for saying the exact same thing. This is well, what he's meaning by that is in 2016, Hillary Clinton claimed Russia stole the election for Trump. 2020, Trump claimed someone stole the election from him for Biden. And now they're putting Trump, they're trying to put Trump in jail, whereas rules for thee, not rules for me, didn't apply to Hillary. We've seen this throughout COVID. Gavin Newsom was at a dinner without a mask on hours after saying you can't go out to eat and you had to wear a mask. So this is just more of that hypocrisy. This is what they do. And uh, over here, Liz Harrington, uh, she posted this. There's a thread of videos here. We'll watch them all. The most secure election in history. Yeah. Here's a woman stuffing the ballot box in broad daylight in Gwinnett County, Georgia, in November 2020 election. If it'll play. Felon. Three felons at one drop box, everybody. Mm -hmm. The other. In broad daylight. I mean, now, you could also get driver's, you know, license plate info and stuff, right? Yes. So she, in broad daylight, what point? After the first? Right there. So let's see. I'm not sure why the video cut out or didn't play. Okay. Look, everybody's sitting there watching. Like, what? So this is happening? right now as she opens it up. Up, oh, can't figure out how to open up because they won't fit. Right. Felony. At what point? After the first. Right there. One. Now it's a felony. So this is a felon. Three felons at one drop box. Everybody. Mm -hmm. I want you to think about that. One after. And I'm sure there's some things are going on where the big brother is putting uh, throttle controls on this video so we can't get it out to the public. That's okay because Liz Harrington has more. Here's another video. These are felony election law violations caught on camera. And law enforcement is doing nothing about it because we have a two-tier justice system that Donald Trump is exposing. Like you can only fit a couple of ballots in at the same time. Is this the state of Georgia? Yeah. Yes. So you're not allowed to turn in more than one right. unless correct. it's for a close relative? That's correct. And, and he's trying to figure out how to even get him into the box because he has so many he can't fit him in the little the little slot. So then he starts having to put them in one by one. Everybody's sitting there waiting on him. Uh, now this is illegal. Is yep, illegal? Right. Highly illegal to do this. Everyone right. past that that first one was illegal. Well, there there is a, a possible in that he could have been in a cis store, which would have meant he he would have had. Um, a signed envelope that would have indicated that he was we don't want to get a strike so I don't know if they'll strike me for showing Charlie Kirk show but shout out Charlie Kirk he's got multiple ones right he does. and he's one of our mules too but he's a mule no gloves no gloves put him in okay that's at least 10 absolutely so it's illegal to be able to do this yes right now this is the same location where someone else also pulled up with the white Ford Explorer same day this or is one box on one day same day same day. So he's got multiple ones, right? He does. And he's one of our mules. In Gwinnett County, 270 people went to a single drop box, but 1,962 ballots were recorded as deposited. Ballots were picked up in two black duffel bags at the end of the day and handed off to an unknown person. This is how third world countries operate. 4.8 million ballots is harvested in the swing states alone. It's everywhere. Philadelphia has the worst. 1,155 mules trafficked ballots for 10, more, 10 or more drop boxes and five or more NGOs where they stash ballots. In Philly, some mules made hundreds of tips, trips to drop boxes. This is, this is a conspiracy. Everywhere they followed the same playbook. Set of collectors, use NGOs as a stash house, bundle ballots, they cast them by drop boxes by the mules. The average ballot mule in Georgia made ballot drops at drop boxes 23 times. So, and it's funny, this is all coming out 
as Biden's going to give, uh, he's going to speak to the people in, uh, where the veteran shot up 18 people. That's, that's what's on his mind tonight. Uh, this is coming from Elon Musk on X. A judge, judge orders a new election in Connecticut town after surveillance video showed ballot stuffing in drop boxes. Now, this is coming back from 2022. This is a primary election. This That this happened here is beyond reasonable, reasonable doubt. The only question is how common is it? And, well, it was common enough to get Joe Biden elected. The court overturns Gannon win in Bridgeport primary, calling evidence of Rod shocking. And uh, Elon Musk echoing the video we just played here for you a minute ago. And then here is a video of the judge ordering a new election for a Maryland mayor. Local Democratic Party official walking up to a drop box in the early hours of the morning of September 5th and making multiple deposits of absentee ballots. You can see a woman here who she goes. the Gomez campaign identifies as Bridgeport City. I just want to say shout out John Gomez for mayor. Hall employee Wanda Jeter Patiki walking up. And remember, Wanda Jeter Patiki is a criminal. Up to the drop box and placing multiple ballots inside. And a few seconds later, she comes back, does it again. The Gomez campaign posted this on social media as part of a three minute compilation showing irregularities in the vote. That woman was questioned during a court hearing challenging the election results and pleaded the fifth. Were you paid for any of your work on the Ganem campaign? Mm -hmm. and I would object at this point. And, so and it wasn't just her, the Gomez campaign. And now I wonder, is she going to get the same treatment for getting uh, advice from her lawyer in the middle of a trial like they say Trump did? Pain played in court nine different people making 24 drops of apparently multiple ballots into absentee ballot boxes. In his ruling, Connecticut State Superior Court Judge William Clark said he found the evidence from the Gomez campaign credible, said there was enough, enough evidence to call the entire election into question. Quote, in this case, there is evidence of partisans taking possession and... He says, in this case, there is partisan taking possession and harvesting ballots to engage in bulk, boxes, bulk, bulk drops of the absentee ballots into drop boxes. The number of ballots at issue, when considering the corroborating evidence of video and of the documentary evidence, brings the reliability of the primary into serious doubt. So, with that being said, it looks like, uh, you know, they're going to overturn a lot of these elections. And, uh, but... Let's hear what Trump has to say real quick, and we'll close it out. They cannot be packed by Florida records. Absentee ballots are great. If you request a ballot, you can't be. I signed an absentee ballot. Absentee ballots are great. They work. They've been proven. They're good, like in Florida. But this universal mail-in is a very dangerous thing. It's fraught with fraud and every other thing that can happen. And we have to be very, very careful. We have a very big election coming up. I think we're going to do very well. And I want to make sure the election is not stolen. And so does everybody else. And I'm sure both sides feel that way. So we have to be very careful with this universal mail-in ballot. Absentee ballots are great. They've worked for a long time. And I, I totally... So there you have it, man. It's really only one way to do this, and it's to elect Trump back into office, man. We cannot sit here and play politics any longer. It's time to get the politicians out of the politics and let the businessman run the business. And that's it.